Wow, this song is really good. Yeah, it's... yeah. Ah, uh, hello? Boys? You still with me? Maybe this is what my dreams meant. Just to stay here and listen to this song. I'm cool with that. I feel like I could stay here forever. Ah... Uh, Okay, so you're all clearly hypnotized. Care to confirm? Yeah, I've analyzed the waveform. What they're doing is actually quite interesting. I can't hear the music! I- I can't hear the music! I can't take the helmet off! What's going on? You've been hypnotized. Pull harder, Steven! I'm trying! Curse your massive head! Attention, patrons. Please form an orderly line towards the stage. Once there, please pour all your valuables into this bin. Thank you for visiting the beatbox. You might be onto something, actually. Are we sure? Like, maybe the song is just really catchy. We don't know for sure if it's hypnosis. A minute ago, you were completely ready to give up your whole space quest just to listen to their song. Well, yeah, that's a bit concerning. Trust me, buddy. I appreciate your childlike naivete and blind optimism, but I know a hypnotizing melody when I scan one. These, uh... guys? Are nothing more than cheap thieves with expensive synths. God, everybody is so much more intense out in space. Nobody I knew was ever threatened with hypnosis back on Earth. Yeah, guy is easy like that. Mr. John, may I borrow your device? I'd like to look over those readings before we come up with a plan. Huh? What? Hey, sure. Knock yourself out. We should study this from all angles before we make our- Hey, scrap for brains! I'm not sure about everyone else, but I don't appreciate being hypnotized. What my friend here means is... Um... Is it possible that maybe your music is... Like, so catchy that it makes people never ever want to stop listening to it? What my friend means to say is... Are you hypnotizing people? Yes or no? Yes, that is correct. Oh. Uh... Can you stop, please? Negative. It's kind of what we're programmed to do. It's a violation of people's rights. You're taking people's free will away. Not to mention you're robbing them. Don't you feel bad doing this to people? Again, it's what we're programmed to do. Conversely, we are not programmed to be interested in the moral ramifications of our actions. Frankly, we just want to play music. Besides, we're not robbing them, we're simply expecting a fee for our services. Is it not normal to exchange valuables for entry to an establishment? Sure, I guess, but not everything you have. How is that fair? It's a very exclusive club. <laughs> yeah, okay. You do realize Cashier was just in here, right? The Cashier client was asked multiple times to remain outside. But he didn't. Maybe your hypnosis isn't as good as advertised. 
Steven, please? I don't want to start a fight. Why not? It's not like your way was working. I know I can reason with them. Just give me a minute. Okay, cool. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna chunk this haywire hypnotist. Hey, wait a minute! John, Dolly, you with me? Right to you! Steven Stevenson and John Exwick versus the Stab Friend. Ever could one. Steven, I need your help. I can't fight at close range. Steven! Steven! Are you okay? Thanks for the save. You're... welcome. If I may have a moment, I believe I have found a less painful solution to our problem. Upon close examination of the effervescence <clears throat> oscilloscope readings, it is clear that subtle frequency shifts in his step friend's music is what leads to hypnosis. Simply put, if we could play our own song at different frequencies than theirs, the hypnotic effect should be overwritten. Hey, this should be easy. You make music all the time, Dasher. I mean, I guess, but not with alternating frequencies or whatever, like theirs. You leave that part to me. Just hop up here and start playing. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, but still, though. These are professional musicians. If we're gonna beat them, we'd have to make, like, the best song ever. Best song ever, 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 best song ever. Does not compute. <laughs> you there, boy. This room is for employees only. Hey. You're the guy from Krog's Planet. What are you doing here? That is none of your concern. Why were you hypnotizing these people? Again, that is none of your concern. I will not warn you again. Leave. No! It's not fair of you to keep people here against their will. They deserve better. 
against their will. Look around you, boy. Before you arrived, these people were plenty happy. They were hypnotized. They weren't happy. They were just doing what you told them to. Yes, and now that you've so graciously freed them, they can go back to their miserable lives. Well done. Tell me, boy, which is better, a false hope or real despair? People should be free to feel however they want. Besides, if you really wanted them to be happy, you'd try to fix their problems instead of hiding them. You know nothing of their problems. What makes you think they'd be so easily fixed? I don't know, but if you showed the people you were trying, that would inspire more hope than music ever could. You insolent child! You know nothing of what you speak! I might not know much about what's going on here, but it seems to me like you just wanted slaves. And if slaves are what you want, I will do everything I can to stop you. A valiant effort, I'm sure. Listen, boy. My name is Dasher. Do not interrupt me! Let me make something clear to you, Dasher. You have just made a very grave mistake. I know we're all thinking it, so why don't we just say it? Cash is the fucking worst! worst.